Hi everyone! First of all, I need to show you what exactly we are going to do because I'm in so in love with this set, so check uh, exactly what we are going to do today. Uh, yes, those beautiful sparkly uh, set, totally something which I love and I'm really happy to wear this set because it has lots of crystals, glitters, mermaids, aurora powder and uh, everything which is really blingy and blingy. Uh, so I'll show you how to create those uh, kind of nails. And if you're new to this channel, uh, click the subscribe button. Also, there's a wee ring bell, which you can hit it as well. So you will get a notification of all the videos uh, coming up and let me know what you think about this tutorial. So let's start. So yeah, look at that bling, uh, it's totally my set, uh, that's our actually uh, really blingy blingy ones and I want to show you exactly how to do that. Uh, so I have filed my nails, I'm just going to give them a quick bath and then we will tidy up the cuticles uh, with the e-file. It's not going to be a big job, just a little bit, so I've got my e-file and that's the K38. It's a really nice portable drill. I also got the video where I do the review of this drill and I definitely uh, highly recommend that. So I'm just going to do a little cuticle work. Just a tiny... And then what I'm doing is I'm putting my drill into the reverse to tidy up the other side. You have to be very gentle, like you don't want to remove much of it, it's just really to smooth it out a little bit. And now I'm going to use the buffer just to blend those difference a little bit more, uh, so the gel polish is going to go really nice and smooth. So just blend it out. Remove the dust and we will start with the gel polish maybe application. So I'm just cleaning it down nice. Uh, I like to use a tiny bit of the blue scrub which is the nail dehydrator just before I do any painting. Just clean my nails to make sure there is no bits and pieces on them. There is a structure video uh, as well available on my channel. Uh, so if you're new in here, you can go and search. Uh, I've got some playlists and uh, you can find exactly how to create those coffin shaped nails. And the color we are going to use is Rose like 158 from Upvoted Collection. Because I'm applying the pigments on it, I will just apply one coat of it. And depending how fussy you are, we can just apply it straight from the bottle uh, using the brush from the bottle. Uh, or we can go a bit with the smaller brush and I actually show you both ways. When painting um, the gel polish close to the cuticles, you have to push it, the product, to the cuticle. And then you've got a really nice and neat application. And you can see it also, I'm just pulling down the nail folds because uh, I've got pretty decent ones, so I don't want the gel polish to get stuck in there. Uh, and I want my application to be really everywhere, like on the entire nail. So pushing it to the cuticle. Then going on the side, and I want to cover entire nail with the corners pulled down. 
I also feel that if we really precise with the gel polish application, the nails lasting much better as well, and they kind of seal the edges of the extensions, and there is uh, less risk of the lifting. We can take also this very tiny brush, and we can paint it even closer to the cuticle. I'm using the painting fine liner, so what you do basically, you just take a drop of the gel polish, and you would paint very close to the cuticle. It's pretty time-consuming, uh, but I think it looks quite nice. So here I've got a little bleed in here of the gel polish, which I'm going to clean with the cuticle for sure. And once we have finished um, the application with the small brush, I'm going to smooth it out. So just almost no product on the brush. I'm just going to smooth out all the product which I've got already on the nails. I can give it a cure. It is a 60 seconds cure. And because we are going to apply all those uh, mirror Aurora powder and also the Mermaid effect, I'm not going to apply a second layer of the gel polish because there's no point. Like the powders covers any kind of imperfection. So one coat is pretty good. And also the coverage of this gel polish is pretty nice. So I don't need the second coat. And that saves us quite a lot of time. The 60 seconds cure will be enough for the Mermaid effect to be wrapped in, and that's the one I'm going to use it. I will also give you the links in the description of this video so you can buy the products I'm using as well. I usually put them into the leads uh, because of the length of my nails. It's quite difficult to go straight into the pot, so uh, that's what's uh, absolutely brilliant for me. I'm really happy that there is guys so many of you watching those videos uh, so keep me motivated to write all those uh, comments down below and uh, give me all the ideas and suggestions what else you would like to see on my channel because uh, I really enjoy doing those videos for you. So that's my Neo Skewer and on the middle finger I'm going to wrap in those uh, Mermine powder. So to wrap the Mermaid powder nice, you just uh, picking up quite a lot of product and you go very gently to start off, like very gently. Once you've got the product on the entire nail, you can start rubbing more and you will see in a minute that it will start becoming more shiny, more shiny. I can even clean my finger a little bit, let it dry, pick up more powder and go a second round. So this way it will go very, very, very shiny. You can see how nice look it gives. Make sure you wrap it in on the sides as well. Then check if the entire nail is covered. You can see I've got a wee, I hope you can see there is a wee dot which isn't. And I'm just going to apply more product into it, wrap it in and that's it covered now. So I'm happy with the application of the Mermaid powder. And the next step what I'm going to do is just, just touch the sides of the nails to remove any excess of the powder. And this usually would cause the chipping if you wouldn't do that, because um, then the the top coat is not going to be applied well, 
and the new my chip. So that's the first nail done. On this nail, we are going to do the sugar and we will also apply the top coat on the rest of the nails. So I'm just going to apply the top coat on all the nails. And this one looks so nice, it's almost like a wet nail, like a mermaid tile. Because the temperatures in the room when the lights are on, when I'm recording all those videos for you, is really high, I need to give it a flash cure. Flash cure is just a couple seconds cure where I can freeze the product so it doesn't run. And I can apply it on another nail. Give it a flash cure in the meantime i will show you what glitter i have used for a sugar and i really like it uh, it has all sorts of different sparkles yeah oh my goodness it looks so beautiful and sugar becomes really popular now in a salon uh, this one sparkles really really well and i have mixed it on my own so i can show you what colors i have used as well I have bought some multicolor glitter and then I also had uh, the Born Pretty pretty large pieces of the glitter. I'm not sure would I be able to find the link, but I might search it because I think it's really nice. So obviously this glitter on its own is a little bit too chunky, uh, which means it will be a bit too rough. And then this one is not going to be um, sparkly enough. So I thought I will give it a nice mixture. And I have mixed those two glitter together to create this look. And I really love that. And to do the sugar effect, so it stays on and it's nice, you need the no wipe top coat. And that's what we are going to do it on this nail. So no wipe top coat on the entire nail. And then you just sprinkle the nail. So I always take a lid and then just sprinkle it with the glitter one side and then other side once you're happy just dab in the excess and you can see how nice and sparkly is that i have to give it a flash cure so the top coat doesn't run into my cuticles and then we can do exactly the same on the farm so you can look again So I'm just applying the top coat on the entire nail. And I'm also so bad, the cameraman, <laughs> you need to remind me to add the no wipe top coat into our website because I think it's not listed in there. And this top coat is amazing. It's a high shine no wipe top gel from a bolted collection. Uh, it's really great for any kind of Aurora powders. I have, you have seen me before using a black bottle with label on it. That was the top coat I was testing uh, to make sure it's a really high quality and it uh, takes the chrome pigments well and it's also lasting nice. So I'm really happy with the quality of it. Now I'm I have sprinkled with the glitter another nail. Uh, this is so beautiful. If you're thinking you have missed it, something, you can go a second layer. It almost looks like a Swarovski Crystal Pixie. Uh, it's so sparkly. And now I have to give it a cure. I'm going to give it a proper cure because we need to also um, make sure the glitter is going to stay on actually i don't want to waste this one <laughs> and you know what guys i'm just going to put that onto the pot because i think it's too nice to waste Ta -da! <laughs> 
That's it all. Yeah, definitely too nice to waste. Uh, on the index finger and the ring finger, you can see I've got some Aurora powder. And also there's a We Fade Donut as well, like a kind of baby boomer or like an ombre. Uh, and I will show you how to do that uh, as well. So I'm going, I've got the top coat on this nails and I'm going to buff them. Actually, I like them in matte as well. I think it looks so nice. And when the nails are buffed, like, I think they even, like, uh, look uh, nicer shaped. So I'm just buffing entire nail. And for Aurora powder, like, or any kind of crumbs, you really want the surface of the nails to be extremely well smooth. Uh, so I find it like, if I buff the top coat after applying the uh, gel polish, that gives me those extra shiny look. Now, let's do those baby boomer, like an ombre on the pink. I'm going to need a tiny bit of the Stella tape. and oh i'm all covered in a glitter and a sponge i will just remove any dust which is on the sponge and to be safe i will just place my sponge on the piece of the white wipe i've got a tiny bit of the white gel left on it and i'm going to use it to do the first state and the gel i'm using is a paint on french gel as you actually see me, uh, if you often on this channel, you see me really uh, working with this gel all the time. So does the other one, the black one, but I think they are fantastic products. So I've got a tiny bit of the product left on my sponge. And what I'm going to do is just dab it in and fade it. Again, I don't need to be as precise uh, because we are going to apply this Aurora powder on top of it. Uh, I don't need to go like absolutely perfect with my ombre uh, so i'm just quickly dabbing it in and you can see it already at the end i've got a uh, whiter product and then apply another thin amount of the paint on french fade it again and depending how pigmented we want that we go as many uh, times with it. I'm going to give it a cure and then I will do the second layer and that will be totally plenty to uh, achieve this look uh, and have those different type of sparkle with Aurora powder. So we don't need all those glitters here. And the next one I'm going to use is the... Now I've got Aurora powder here. So that's the powder which we are going to use. That's my paint on gel cure. And I can apply the second layer. When you're applying it with the sponge, make sure you don't dab it too much. It's more like kind of rubbing option. And now I need to only blend the difference in between um, the fading. So I'm just blending the difference and I don't touch too much of the color which I've got on the end. As I say, because we are applying the Aurora pigment over it, I don't need to be too fussy with my blending. So that's what do uh, and i'm going to give it a cure it is going to be a 30 seconds cure and that's plenty for a paint on french gel and then we can apply the top coat so we can wrap in the uh, aurora pigment i also have like a really detailed video how to apply the crystals so they stays on and you will be probably seeing me 
they are my holiday needles but you will be also able to see me like working with this needle pretty long time because i kind of like them <laughs> and if i like the needles i i tend to walk longer with them and if i don't like some set uh, that's only lasted me like maybe two or three weeks and then i want to just change it uh, but if they're nice i just keep like as long as possible uh, so now is the time to apply the top coat and that's a no wipe top coat so i can wrap in the aurora pigment and i decided to go for this ombre look because i thought maybe this color is a bit too dark for me i quite like it um it's like a dirty pastel pink um but it's still a bit maybe too too strong pink for me because uh, i usually am wearing on my nails like a white black <laughs> silver gold or very nudie color now i've got some bit of something must be a dust or a bit of glitter in here and i need to rub it off because otherwise the chrome will show it so the crumbs is a really tricky and we want that nice and smooth 60 seconds cure exactly because this way we'll uh, achieve the nicest uh, nicest glassy chromey look and then we will just wrap in those aurora pigment in and i quite like it because on different colors it looks slightly different so on the pink it looks pinkier on the white it looks slightly different as well i really really uh, I think it's a nice, nice sparkly chrome powder. Highly recommended this one. So, oh my goodness, I'm covered in this sparkle <laughs> everywhere. You can also hit the share button so uh, others can see it as well, uh, how the set was created. Uh, but also that gives us a new subscribers as well. So, uh, something which keeps me motivated to producing more of those videos uh, if i can see it, the channel is succeeding as well that's my neo cure 60 seconds and i can wrap this pigment in so on the pink is going to look slightly different and it's going to look slightly different on a white you can see that now so wrapped it in really well And the same on this one. See, I also don't uh, do anything to this uh, nails yet because the longer we cure the top coat, the uh, the better the sugar stays on. Oh my goodness, look at this blink. This is so nice. And you can see also the light reflection like because we have bathed them um, they are much smoother and then any kind of chromes powders looks much nicer so rubbed it in and then again exactly oh <laughs> i'm going to be covered all my living room is going to be covered today with all those pigments and the sparkles and um, we have to do it exactly the same what we did it with the mermaid powder like touch it at the sides at the free edge with the file and the reason for it is the top coat any kind of gel is not going to stick into too shiny uh, surface and uh, that's what we had so we need to do those few scratches so the next layer of the top coat is going to stick in well then clean with the brush apply the top coat and then we can apply the crystals on oh my goodness i love that so much I do really love that. I should maybe take a picture of that. <laughs> or, like, or like a short video or something. Patrick, I need to uh, get the cut out of that. <laughs> I need to get a cut out of that. It's so nice. Oh gosh. Sorry guys, but I'm too excited. I think it looks absolutely amazing. Okay, yeah, let's move on. Oh no, give me a second. One more. That's so nice. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to apply the top coat. Sorry for that, but it's just like, you know, sometimes you do a set of the nails and you like them so much that you just want to, like, keep looking at them. Anyway, a top coat on. Nice and thin. You don't want to go too thick. 
and on the second needle, nice and firm. And then we can give it a cure. Perfect, so I'm going to cure it now. I'm covered in this glitter snow. <laughs> And we can apply the Swarovski crystals. As I say, um, there is a proper video like where I only do the Swarovski crystals application and I explain everything. It is uh, like nice and smooth and not catchy. So last clean and yeah, that's the awesome sparkling is finish. So thanks guys for watching and been with me here for so many months. Uh, bye and hope to see you next video.